Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to another Moon Colony live stream. It's good to see you. We have a very Christmassy Melissa with us here today. Um, and, you know, I, I kind of feel like I've been outdone. I've been outplayed. <laughs> but Don't worry. Uh, I'm cosplaying uh, Papa Smurf. It's oh, Christmas. okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> um, but I hope everyone's doing well. I'm seeing, like, there's a few... Um, watch streaks being being reached skullpel is on 15 stream streak thank you so much 15 streams in a row that's crazy Christina i tried to share three. that but it didn't work for me last time oh how many are you on you on 15 as well i don't know oh okay <laughs> great <laughs> it didn't well... work i forgot <laughs> after two seconds <laughs> well thank you everybody for for watching all of our streams it's lovely to see some regulars coming in here and, and chatting with us it's always nice um but we got melissa in here today to do some uh festive or like winter creatures for us um yeah melissa is losing her streak right now sorry melissa what um, i'm watching <laughs> are you watching on your other monitor of course <laughs> oh wow okay cool that's commitment um yeah we've got melissa doing I... some winter creatures for us today uh we've Got a whole load of uh, whole load of resources and references here. We did put together a quick reference folder that is linked in the Discord server. So if you're in our Discord server, then go in there. There's a channel in there called Twitch, and all of the references are linked right there in the Google Drive on that. So go ahead and. Okay, uh, Jaden said winter creatures, and I was thinking, yes. what better to do than white animals? And then I, I thought, how many white horses I can do without people noticing <laughs> and <laughs> taking it against me? <laughs> but we won't do white horse, we will do some of the cute little animals again. Yeah. I would be watching video or something, and we have a bunch of nice uh, wintery uh, values, because the snow is hard. We all know it's white, so how do you represent it in the painting to have some values, but not to look muddy? I have folder just for the snow, so I pulled some of the images from there. Uh, for example, this is this is so beautiful. This is so nice if you want really to nice. uh, learn the harmony of colors. It's the saturated uh, blues and a bit of pinks, but in contrast, uh, they are posing a lot. So if we have time, we could use that for background. I also saved some uh, inspirations. I didn't credit all the artists, but you can easily find them. There are many popular. They are signed here. This is Polar Engine. I didn't credit everyone, but just for inspiration, we are looking to make wintery creature. Mm -hmm. uh, it's usually white, 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 because it's camouflaged nicely in a slow snow and ice. Also, there is something with the sun and uh, black skin underneath i i didn't you you don't have fun fact this time it's something about polar bears but i forgot yeah. how it works yeah, anyway you need vice for camouflage mm? i was gonna say isn't polar bear is it, is it that their their skin is white and their fur is like transparent or something is that not what it was not or the was? skin is black i'm not sure yeah it's something weird i i didn't shave polar bears uh, but look at this cat. This cat and this white, uh, the picture is probably edited, but if you do a study of this, you will see you cannot go too uh, dark and too desaturated because it would show really easily. I think I will do the monkey, but I wanted to make uh, Christina happy and try something of Skyrim. We don't have that much time to do the whole Skyrim character. And when he said winter creatures, I thought all Skyrim creatures are winter creatures. I, I, <laughs> for years, I'm trying to make something a bit small wrecklings. I started making the figurine out of clay. And it looks like goblin. It doesn't look like wrecklings. <laughs> yeah, it's out of with proportion. A, I'd be happy with a winter goblin. That would suit me. I don't know. Did you play uh, the DLC? Uh, I did, but I don't remember seeing those things. <laughs> You can take it as a companion, and they can even what? ride uh, swines. Really? In a DLC? Yeah. Yes. You you just do quest for them, so you pick their side and not people's side. 
Oh, man. Yeah, I don't remember those at all. You probably don't know then this one too. This one is really rare to find and it's from uh, Morrowind DLC and it also shows on Skyrim DLC. Never mind. We won't do Skyrim, unfortunately, because I would need much more time for this. Uh, uh, but Snow Troll would be great to do. Yeah. And I think I can start drawing. I will base it on this little dude, I think, because it got a lot of fur. Mm. Uh, but I like goat more. I'm not sure. Hybrid. Hybrid. It can have horns, true. Yeah. And little, maybe I can include bigger tail. Winter, a winter goat monkey. <laughs> okay, I have a lore for this one. So these monkeys live really high. So they don't have a proper nose. I think it's frozes and um, what's called when you lose the limb in a hypot. Uh, oh, frostbite. Yeah, I think their noses got frostbite, so they don't have uh, proper noses. I think that would, that would be that'd be weird for a animal that lives in the cold to surely it would evolve out of that. We can uh, check some other time, but I think there's a case. Yeah. Uh, Mary Art says, Skyrim, I love you. Yeah, we love Skyrim too. <laughs> but one one day we'll get Melissa in to do like a Skyrim Skyrim thing. Yeah, but it's gonna be a lasting stream. But it have to be over a few. Yeah, maybe. Okay, he got a really cute face, so let's try just with the face and I will zoom out. Uh, Jaden, if mm -hmm. you have some lore for this creature that you Do want or anything, you could say and I can decline. Oh, okay. But do, do it now, at the <laughs> beginning. Well, why don't, we, why don't we open it up to people in chat that you can decline their requests instead? It's harder for you oh, to no. decline chat's requests than it is the for mine. Democracy. Yeah. <laughs> um. Skullfells as they look so fluffy. They, yeah, they do. I really want to pet one. I wonder if they're the kind of animal, though, that is really fluffy, but you wouldn't want to touch it because it would, like, rip your face off or something. Well, this looks like a baby. I'm not sure is this the full size. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what kind of monkey it is? You know what? Old? If not, I can uh, try reverse image. No, no, I, I just pulled this from folder of animals. You yeah. can uh, search reverse. It's living probably on high altitudes in snow mm -hmm. weather. I don't think it's one that uses uh, Japanese hot springs. That's a different one, I think. And I wish I could use Japanese hot springs. We have here uh, hot springs. You can come. And sparkling water in them. <laughs> we we do not have actually. none. Not well, not that I know of. I've never heard of any hot springs in the really? UK. Really, all yeah. ladies want uh, like to go to hot springs <laughs> for medical purposes. Yeah, we definitely. I've definitely never heard of any old people over here that go to hot really? springs. Really? Okay, here is so common. If they did, they'd probably complain about it being, like, too hot. Oh no, here everyone is like, it's too cold and it's like 40 degrees, oh, because it's outside. <laughs> Not always, but sometimes it's outside. I, uh, I don't like, like, sauna thingies, I don't yeah. think. Oh, I found it. They're called snub-nosed monkeys. Okay, and what is that? Why they lost the nose? Um, we see golden snub nosed monkeys. Uh, quickly scanning Wikipedia. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Physical characteristics. I don't know if it even says. It doesn't say. It doesn't say why they don't have a nose. 
I can see. Uh, oh, hello, Floya. Hello, Ignacio. They both like your hat. Thank you. And Tanya, I need to get my. I need to get a Christmas hat. It's Smurf hat. Yes, or a Smurf hat. Well, the Smurf hats are white. Uh, Papa Smurf got red. Does he? Oh, yeah. He... Wait. See? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You just need the beard. You need to grow a beard, Melissa. Well, th this part, I cannot grow a beard, unfortunately. <laughs> I died. <laughs> You know what? We will give beer to the monkey. Monkey. Yes. Monkey smurf. Are those the? Oh, is that his ears coming off the sides? Yeah, let's try it. Uh, he lost yeah. the nose of frostbite, but he's definitely <laughs> he's, not losing he's it. Those ears. <laughs> <laughs> because that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking to see what I can do. Maybe bigger horns. I Why he good... needs a horn? We don't know. They fight with horns. Yeah. Well, you don't know. You don't know what other kind of monsters live in the snow around this around this little monkey. So he needs some kind of defense. Yeah, like, give me like a mask. Yeah, we totally need some lore, this little dude. I would rather give him clothes than hands. Close because work. I give clothes for anything. <laughs> he needs the claws for digging in the snow. Actually, see, let's first see, close. Hmm? To eat. I think he eats berries and small, small rodents. Actually, it's really hard to find anything in the snow, especially when you're freezing. Berries gonna go first by the birds. Oh yeah, true. Uh, I forgot what they're called. Uh, the red berries that are shaped like American football. We make tea out of them. Uh, it's like an American football. It's not important. I know a lot of berries that you can eat, but I don't know them in English. I think I'm... I, I'm not sure. The only thing that I can think of is like cranberries, but they're not... They're not... No, no, not them. Not that shaped. I bought cranberries recently. I complained to Christina and they sent me, but they sent me American ones, which I didn't want. In the picture, they had domestic ones, which are small and cute. And American ones look like a weed. They they grow in a big, um, big tails. And mm. it doesn't work for what I imagined where uh, I want to put them. So oh. I complained li like <laughs> proper Karen. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I didn't even realize that American cranberries and European cranberries were different. Well, you have European blueberries and American blueberries. American being a domesticated one, and Europeans wild ones. They're uh, really, really different. Okay, the taste different, the size different. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, Dash said yarrow. I think, isn't yarrow just like a, a plant, not like a, it's not a berry or anything? Oh, like a rose thorn, thorn. That's also got berries. Man, I'm learning that I know nothing about plants. European cranberries are so nice. Yeah, like this like thing. Well, uh, I don't know, can you see it? Oh, yeah, kind of, yeah. Um, 
they are not good before the first um, minus and uh, when they freeze mm. they are much more tasty uh, it goes for uh, many berries and some vines not vines a uh, grapes too okay interesting Hey, then, okay. do we render this completely or do we make multiple creatures and leave them in sketches? I have no idea what you want. <laughs> well, I think it would be I think it would be cool to see this rendered a little bit. Because it's so fluffy. Okay. It is, it is. You know what? He is hiding his little hands, I will do the same. Because nothing better for artists than hiding fingers. <laughs> What happened I to have this claws? problem. Uh, he pulled them in. Oh, okay. okay. Sure. Convenient. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have uh, uh, this one too. Yeah, this one is more go more golden. I like this uh, for the skin color. It's bluish. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Yeah. His hair is like um, a lot more tame. I saw a beautiful golden uh, monkey in a uh, London zoo where you go to the sea uh, lemurs yeah. before it there is golden monkeys and it was sun hitting through the fur it was so beautiful and it's oh. so shy the monkey yeah I remember when I went to um, Colchester Zoo in the UK we saw some spider monkeys and I love spider monkeys I think they're great um, but one of them would play hide and seek so mm -hmm. you would you would like you would cover your face and it would it would go and hide somewhere and then you'd lower your hands and it would just like poke its head around from its hiding spot like checking to see if you were looking for it or not it was really cute you just <laughs> spent ages to play hide and seek with this monkey oh nice yeah it was really cute and like since then i've just i've I've loved monkeys. I think they're great. They have so much character. They are great. Yeah. 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 You see, I need um, to love them, to not love them that much, because then I want one and I cannot have it. <laughs> yeah. Not a right to have it. <laughs> so the less I know about them, that's better for them. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like monkeys are the kind of pet where the more you learn about having a monkey as a pet, the least you're going to want one, because they're just really annoying. <laughs> the, the little bird was annoying as hell. <laughs> but yesterday I was looking at small animals. Um, I found uh, colorful rats, so mm -hmm. not outside, the, but domestic ones. Uh, chinchilla, is that how you say it too? Yeah, chinchilla, yeah. Um, some other thing uh, we said like a glider sweet thingy but not that sugar, it looks like sugar that glider. yeah but it's different I, I forgot the name anyway oh. and the squirrels there was a Tibetan and Siberian squirrels and I'm like oh, those are those are uh, cheap and I could get them <laughs> but I probably should <laughs> <laughs> and I used a little self-control I had. <laughs> when I when I first heard of when I first saw sugar gliders, I was like, "Man, these things are so adorable! I love them so much." And then uh, I found out you can't. Well, you're not allowed them in the UK, really. Yeah. Because the the climate is so different to what they're used to. They're used yeah. to really dry, uh, warm climates, and it is not <laughs> it's not dry or warm. Uh, they change those laws what you can what you uh, cannot uh, on every few years so people would uh, like get iguana oh, yeah. uh, because uh, it's allowed uh, and few years later oh it's not allowed anymore or you need papers now or something and then they take animals away which is also not nice no that sucks I think normally, I don't know, they're, they're like a dog breed in the UK recently got banned. Um, but can and, you keep what you already have? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. But a lot of people are 
giving them into shelters and then Aww. but when they're in those shelters because they're not allowed to they're not allowed to sell them again they just end up having to put them down it's really sad yeah. uh, I said I saw a slow loris at the Bristol Zoo and just stood there for ages admiring the cuteness oh yeah slow lorises are so cute I'm not sure what is it they're they're like Try, I'm gonna have to Google it. So I can try and figure out how to describe it. It's like it's like a, a lemur sort mm -hmm. of thing. It was, it's kind of like oh, a big lemur, eyes? but with big eyes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, really adorable. But yeah, I think they I they know. are. Um, I think they're kind of venomous, though. Like, if they bite you, then it it's, re it's really bad. Oh, what's your name? You're so good. Venomous? Oh, hi, Venomous. <laughs> venomous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've just, I've just looked it up, and apparently the slow loris bite is reported to be painful in humans with symptoms including burning of the tongue and throat, hypertension, muscle convulsions, heart and respiratory problems, unconsciousness, and death through anaphylaxis. Well, that's a small price to pay for a pet. It's a, pet. Small, it's a small price to pay for an adorable, an adorable little pet. I'm gonna pet it anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> will I? Will I die from anaphylactic shock? Yes. Will it be worth I don't know it what that even seconds? means. This sign cannot stop me. <laughs> this sign can't stop me. I can't read. Exactly. Uh, anaphylaxis is, I think it's the one where like, your throat swells. And so you just like can't breathe. Not a big deal, really. No, no. You don't need to breathe anyway, right? I'm looking how I make it. Maybe face could be even smaller. I think the face should be even bigger. No, no, no. When it's smaller, you see, it looks fluffier. It should be... Take up, take up the whole head. Just to see these ears, maybe. To have them different. What is your favorite animal, Melissa? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't have favorite. Depending okay. for what? For a pet, for looking, for Just... behavior, for beauty. Uh, all of them apart from pet. Because I feel like if you restrict it to it being a pet, then it limits your options. You are under underestimating me. <laughs> no. Oh no, I know I know what kind of pets you you just take into your house. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't have a favorite one from top of my head. Mm. I have one that I don't like, like uh, some kinds of spiders and stuff. Oh, well, yeah. Spiders are nasty. They're gross. But, I don't know. My friend went to, uh, my friend went to someone's house for a birthday party the other day, and there was, uh, they had some ferrets there. Yeah. And they're so cute. I love ferrets so much. Because of the ferrets and weasels, I started searching for the pet uh, the other day. That's yeah. why I found all this animals. Yeah, well, the, the, problem, the problem with having ferrets, it's the same problem if you have rats as pets, is that you need to have multiple. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so, but then, like, obviously, if one dies, then that means you need to get another one. Which kind of creates an endless cycle of uh, an endless cycle of buying ferrets or buying rats forever because they just keep outliving each other. I did that with the fish. When one dies, I get another one. I get two more. This dies, mm. and I have one fish now left. And I'm like, I'm bu not buying anymore. Yeah. Because the moment I do, one gonna die again for something. <laughs> they also attack each other, so. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the problem. I remember when my, when I was younger, my dad had like 
he would always have fish tanks and fish constantly. There was one point where in the corner of our living room, there was just a massive, a massive corner fish tank. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, the fish just didn't get on. They just kept attacking each other. I was like, why do you keep doing this? It's so unfair to these fish. Yeah, it needs to be asked uh, what I can live with what one and um, also the size. They can be the same yeah. uh, type of fish, the same or different gender, doesn't matter. If they're different in size, they're gonna attack each other. Yeah. I had some fish for years and whatever I tried to have with some fish, it just keeps biting it a bit and then you see <laughs> bruises and then the fish dies. Yeah. But what can live, I make the small uh, skull like thingy and I burned it in fire so it can be in water. And I had a catfish that it looks like it have no bones. It's black mm -hmm. and he has really long um, mustache. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that could live with the sunfish because it couldn't reach it. And that fish goes out only in night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my yeah, we had we had some catfish because they were just chill. They didn't they, they didn't really care about anything. So they they probably lasted the longest. Uh, Zeri, yeah, my the camera angle. Thank you so much. What were you gonna I say? I would last, but my family left the lid open, and the fish jumps out if there is a shakes <laughs> on the ground. Oh no, we had we had that though. We had that in our in our fish tank, where we we came back home from our grandparents once and my dad had left the cover of the fish tank off and yeah a fish had just jumped up and was just like oh well, it, it died obviously but you know it was just there we're like what the like how <laughs> why yeah on this one i leave uh removed the lid because it was old and started to deteriorate and yeah. the fish doesn't jump out it learned finally yeah we end up with our pond outside. Um, mm. We had we kept having it, herons. Or king, yeah, I think it was a heron. We kept having herons come and land next to our fish pond and just eat the fish out of it. So, like my dad would try loads of stuff to stop him doing that. Just to check which one was heron, I uh, I cannot remember. Uh, it's like. Got like a really long neck, like an S. Neck is like an S. Ah, I see, I see, I know. Yeah. They, uh, these guys, we see them at the meadow, not meadow, but where was um, corn or wheat. Uh, they go and they catch mice. Oh, uh, interesting. The s storks also do that? Yeah, I don't think we get many storks. Yeah, herons and uh, and hey, kingfishers. Oh, we have them too, the blue ones. Yeah, but they're they're tiny. I don't they're know why so that good. came into my. I don't know why that came into my head. Uh, Dash says ferrets are so cute. They're just like living slinkies. Yeah, especially when they get really excited and then they like trip over themselves. They're really sweet. I want to make this tail not, not look so obvious, but mm. I'm not succeeding. <laughs> um, oh, we actually have a, we have a question. Um, Ozu mm -hmm. Art said, when you draw animals based on creatures and you add horns or other details like this, do you recommend to do individual studies on those kinds of features to better improve the render? I mean, you can, but you don't have to. If you have, these are not nice horns for this. But if you have a reference, then you can apply it right away. That's how I like to study the most. When I'm doing illustrations and I try, you will have a lot of trouble fitting it in, yes, but you will learn. Yeah. Uh, then and there. I really didn't prepare many horns, but I had some great for those. Yeah, maybe, you know what, now when you say horns. I could do also this kind of horns. Like yeah. for show of horns. Yeah. Just a sec. They always remind me of like the tiefling horns. Like in uh, 
D&D. Mm -hmm. &D. So if we do more like this. Yeah, this thing reminds me of the Greek uh, thing, half uh, man, half goat. Uh, uh, one, Sita? Yeah, one Hercules goat for trainer. Yeah. Yeah, it's a satyr, a half half man, half goat. It always reminds me of Narnia, Mr. Mr. Tumnus. Kind of uh, finally, I, I never watched Narnia fully. I watched the first movie, and I remember even as a kid thinking that Mr. Tumnus was a bit. A bit of a was a bit of a weird dude. He's like, <laughs> he just comes across like a kid in the middle of the woods and is like, "Hey, come back to my house for some hot chocolate, and I'll like hip hypnotize you." Uh, okay. Too much. These horns are too much. Oh, dang. Uh, if you want to, if anybody in chat wanted to join in with what Melissa is doing today and make make your own winter creatures, then we'd love to see it. We have uh, channels in Discord server where you can share your work, like the study room or sketches and whips. That's both great options. Um, and if you want to see the references that we've got today, then again, we have a channel called Twitch. And in that channel, I've linked to a Google uh, a Google Drive that has all of these images in them. So you don't have to look for your own if you don't want to. Yeah, winter creatures is more like animals, regular regular animal with horns. <laughs> yeah, regular animals with horns, and they are <laughs> colored white <laughs> or covered in snow. I'm not sure about these horns. I don't like. They are too on top. You know what? Because um, they should go from here. Yeah. No. Nope. You see the? Uh, Do you see any of the game awards last night, Melissa? Um. Uh, no, I, I watched it, what was it, a few weeks ago. I didn't watch. The friend sent me some funny detail. Kind of funny. Oh. I didn't and get a chance all. to watch it. Um, but one of the first things I did this morning was check. Was check who won, who won what. Um, and yeah. Yeah, yeah Dash. Care Baldur's, to tell? Baldur's, Gate, Baldur's Gate won pretty much everything that they were nominated for. So <laughs> they got. What about Zelda? Zelda, I don't think got anything. Yeah. Um, wait, let me double check. But yeah, Baldur's Gate got Game of the Year. Person who voiced mm -hmm. Asterion got Best Actor. Um, yeah, because of Katie, I voted voted for that. <laughs> I still didn't play it. I, I was I was I was upset because one of the one of the lead actors in. Alan Wake 2 got nominated but didn't didn't win, which is a bit sad. Because they did a great job. But... Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I you I know for Alan Wake from you, I wouldn't play it myself, nor would I be interested in that. Mm. I don't know. M maybe it's popularity thing. I mean, it is popularity thing. How many votes you get is how many gamers is interested in your game, right? Um. Could who do you say side we voted but uh, are we equal with do they have judges um i don't know how it works really i don't know whether the judges i don't know whether the judges narrow down the nominations that's to, probably yeah to be like the five for each category uh and then it's public votes for the rest like for the winners 
Asterion, you cried when uh when Asterion won the Asterion actor won. Damn. I know people I know people love him, but that's that's passion right there. But Baldur's Gate 3 won a lot. Like everything that they were nominated for. Like they got Game of the Year, they got um obviously best performance. Got best community support, which mm -hmm. is interesting. The community support beat two MMOs. <laughs> so it's, that's nuts. Oh no, Tears of the Kingdom did win something. It won the best yeah. it won the best action adventure game. Okay. Yeah. And Baldur's Gate won best RPG, best multiplayer. Just it just player's voice, which I think is a weird category anyway. <laughs> Jaden is a known hater of Asterion. I look. Uh, it's no, he my... hates Gail. I still didn't play it, and I watched some clips, and I'm like, this gay, uh, uh, Gale dude, look, uh, okay, and he's like, no, everybody hates him, and then every time I go to Twitter, I see a bunch of people liking him, and how Jaden is wrong. People, people like Gale now. When the, when when the game first came out, I promise you, so many people hated Gale because, like, he would just want to sleep with you instantly. You would breathe near him, and he'd be like. Hey, so I love you. It's like, okay, whoa. Okay, dude. But I, I, uh, yeah, I, I don't really like Astarian that much. I kill him pretty much every time. So. It's, it's, How many times did you kill him? Probably about four or five. <laughs> that, that many playthroughs you had? Well, that, well, that's how many times I've started first, the game. I don't know. Yeah, I've never finished it. But I've started it a few times. Oh, yeah. I, I was looking at that. I, I'm like the husband. We're gonna play this on winter when they update everything and all yeah. the updates are done, so we can enjoy full, full the game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I think most of the I think most of the updates and stuff are done. So right now, I don't think they're adding in anything else. They did added Gail uh, something for Gail the other day. I saw that. Oh okay. I haven't I haven't followed it in a, a month or two now. Um, Zarin, I wish Gale wanted to sleep with me. Instead, he talks about magic and his goddess like an NFT, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, you know, Gale kind of is the biggest. He is he is a big sellout. Um, hello, Leone. Balalul says that's a dope monkey. <laughs> nice monkey, very cute. Uh, Floyd, I really for these streams, awesome. I'm always okay. Sorry, already. No, 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 no. I was just saying, Floyd, Floyd likes the cute paws. For these streams, I'm always like, do I pick something that's challenging, but then we don't have time for that, or do I go the sh short version and pick something that's doable in this time? Mm. So it's hard choice. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is tough. Uh, it, it's tough for me as well, like, to know, uh, to know how detailed we do stuff in. I think with the more complicated stuff, it's not so bad. We can, we can do multiple streams on something if it's interesting enough. Uh, Dash said, Melissa, do you have any tips on drawing uh, the simple shapes of... Oh, I did draw earlier the Okay, yeah. remind me that in three minutes just to finish this selection. Three minutes, okay. On it. Because I cannot lose the selection. <laughs> um yeah, there were also some really great game uh, game announcements at the game awards. Too. What was it? What was it? Oh, let me get up another list. <laughs> there, like, there was quite a lot. Um, I just care about Silk Song. That was, not and that enough. probably wasn't there yet. No, it was not there yet. <laughs> it never is. No, should be so lucky. Whoa.
sorry about that. Um, there was New Monster Hunter. Okay. Hideo Kojima announced a new thing. Uh, I overdose. I saw he's trending, so probably that's why. Yeah, but he's doing. Um, it's something that he's doing with Jordan Peele, who is of Ian Peele, the comedy duo, and of horror movie director fame. That should be cool. Uh, some God of War Ragnarok DLC. It's free. Okay. Um, oh, fun. Apparently, it turns it into like a roguelite. Be cool. People were excited about Arcane, uh, Arcane Studios coming out with a new game. They were like, "Oh, maybe it'll be Dishonored 3. It wasn't. It was. Uh, it was played. The vamp of like Vampire Hunter. Oh, uh, like the movie Blade? Yeah, yeah, like the movie or like, like yeah, the comic books, Marvel. But yeah, the movie. And Floyer's like, yeah, people. Yes, Floyer was excited. They looked cool. I haven't watched the trailer yet, but I hope I really want like I I loved the original Blade. Was it with uh, Wesley Snipes? Incredible. Um, Carmine is also still waiting for Silk Song. You know, at some point, at some point, man, it it's gonna come out. It's only been like a million years in the making. So to interrupt you for the hooves, mm, yeah, I did ahead. selection. So this is our creature, monkey with the horns, and ears. Um, for the hooves, I had not this, this one. Yeah. Um, you can simplify them depending how they are turned. So this one is turned more toward us. Mm -hmm. With what I'm drawing. This. Uh, so we see the bottom a bit, but the hooves are nicest when they look something like this. And then from the side, then here would be this. So they're triangle, triangular, but round on the side. So if we follow this, we wouldn't see much of the bottom, because this side is wider than the back side. And for this, you would see just the... This part, also what you can do here is, uh, I, I had a lot of contact with sheep, so <laughs> those are weird. I, I much more like the hooves of the horses than the, the sheep and goat ones. I mean, goats can be cute and sheep when they are small, but those grow out like your fingernails uh, yeah. grow out. So if the animal is not outside and going uh, around on a different kind of terrain they grow out and they become really ugly and hard for animal to walk so you need to mm -hmm. cut them in the babies they look cute still back ones they got a bun bunch of fur so it covers all, all like the bone would be different but the fur makes it chunky and nice and then you can just do simple like this the, again depending on uh, how you turn it this one doesn't look that good. Oh no, I see what I'm doing. I'm drawing on wrong layer. You can hide them under a lot of fur as long as you uh, make them nice and chunky. Yeah. Do I have other hooves? This one is barely visible, but also you can see when you look from the bottom, just two little triangles oops they are so hidden here yeah they just look like little little hockey pucks but if you look at the horse ones they are so hard to get right look at this for shortening even on the photo it doesn't look really nice but when you try to draw all of this you need to simplify <laughs> this a lot because it won't look good when you draw all these little bumps I, of course, they are muscles, but try to simplify those much more. Such a strange pose. It is. Or just put your horse in snow or water, and you don't have to show it. Do I have any more? No, not here. 
I love the picture of just like a horse, a horse's mouth with the tongue out. I'd, look how this nice to paint and render. Uh, it goes nice ambient occlusions. If you touch the horse uh, on, on on here on the lips, they're so nice to touch and they're so soft. They yeah. move them like you would moving. So nice to touch. <laughs> Man, I, I haven't I haven't seen that many horses in person. I remember I went to Brighton once and. Uh, Saw some horses around there, and they were absolutely massive. Like they were huge. And it's it's the something I always forget. Did you then saw uh, what's called? I know what's called the big horse for pulling. Uh, it's English breed, uh, Shire horse. Oh yeah, Shire horse. Yeah, it could have it could have been one? a it could have been a Shire horse. I'm not sure, but yeah, it was huge. Super friendly though. Like as soon as it saw us coming over to like the field, it it like ran from the other side of the field over to us and like um, wanted us to wanted us to stroke it. It's very cute. Oh yeah, my uh, uh, grand grandfather had horses. Uh, I wasn't born when uh, he was alive and had them, but he mm. had multiple. And the mother father, my grandfather from that side, he also had a uh, horse always one horse and i would be always like over the fence and um uh, trying to feed him something trying to pet him but they were uh big and not not used to my uh presence yeah. so i was not allowed to go over there <laughs> yeah i mean this horse didn't care i'd never seen this horse before in my life but i think it just loved people it was just like it's just so happy to see anybody. Um, I will try to uh, block some colors here. Uh, next time I see a horse touch its lips, noted. <laughs> Melissa is responsible for all future bitten fingers. Uh, just yeah, uh, have in my have in mind the sheep and goats has only bottom teeth, no top teeth, so it. It's not that bad, but horse has both bottom oh. and uh, lower teeth, so he will pinch you and it will hurt. <laughs> uh, I liked it when uh, when I went to the zoo as a kid. You could, at certain times of the day, you could feed the elephants and feed the giraffes, and it was so cute but it was super gross like Why? The like you would you would get like these like pellets you'd hold them in your hand the giraffe was not too bad i mean you'd get covered in like slobber like you just you'd have giraffe like saliva all over your hands um but the elephants it's like a cow the cow is the same yeah the elephants though they would they would go down to like grab it with their trunk and it would just be snot just everywhere. It was so gross. Oh, oh poor so you. Sad. So sorry cute, for though. you, Jason. No, I enjoyed it. It was fun, though. I should have drawn these uh, mountains before I started adding any colors. We're going to blur them, okay? <laughs> just, uh, just start again. Easy. I just wanted to have uh, something in the back so I can uh, adjust the colors on the creature properly. Yeah. But I should have drawn this before. Because <laughs> uh, I like drawing for everything. Mm -hmm. Just painting, uh, I don't like doing that. It's too much guessing while I need to add colors and values. And now I also need to find where what's sitting. Yeah. Uh, hello, Fuwan Art. Nice to see you. Uh, oh, mine's just a just a reminder. Don't touch the horse's face. No, that's not what we said. Melissa said you can touch the horse's face. Just be careful because it'll it'll nip you probably. But only if you Depending touch the Depending on the horse. Well, yeah. I had a 
family friend once who was terrified of cows. And it sh it should cows can uh, hit you because they don't like it. Yeah, but it's just something I I've always I always wondered what like where that stemmed from because I've I've always thought cows were pretty pretty cute. Well, I will tell you where that come from. Uh, my parents did had uh, two cows. Mm -hmm. And we were small. I still remember that one of my earlier uh, things. One loved us. It wanted to be around us. It wanted <laughs> to sniff us, to lick you because you are salty a bit. And cows love salt. So they're going to lick you and you're going to have drool all over you. And they have really, really uh, rough tongue. Yeah. It hurts to the like point. Like sandpaper. Yeah. Other cow was younger cow and she hated us for some reason. We were small. We were... Uh, stumbling <laughs> and when she sees us she see red and start charging at you and she never hit us because parents never allowed it but she would she, she easily would <laughs> she hated kids with passion <laughs> also sometimes the cows we, they're not doing it on purpose sometimes they jump on you or they step on your uh, leg and they have no idea that hurts you yeah or like... uh, sometimes the big um, fly uh, is different kind of fly. Yeah. When it bites you, it hurts a lot. So the they start, uh, yeah, they start running. And if you have them on a leash, they're gonna pull you with you <laughs> easily, <laughs> because that animal had like 700 kilos, and you're what 60? Nothing yeah. for her. <laughs> yeah, man. And that's for the girls' cows. Boys' cows? Oh, oh yeah, the they, bulls. They hate the everyone. Yeah. Sometimes even oxen, but bulls especially. It's funny, like... One of my... One of my favorite memories of when I was just leaving high school, going into college, was when me and my friends did this thing. In the UK, it's the duke of edinburgh award but you do mm -hmm. loads of stuff but essentially a part of it is you go on this like 18 kilometer hike or like this 18 kilometer okay. walk um and me and my friends went and our route that we were doing took us through this field like, okay that's mm -hmm. fine we'll go through we go in and as as we walking across this field we feel like we feel like we're being watched and we turn around and there is like 20 cows or like 25 cows with their um with their like baby cows f just following us oh. through this field <laughs> it was like they didn't they didn't like charge at us or anything they were just following mm -hmm. us um yeah because when people are th their people usually they need to go home and they bring them food and water so they do follow the shepherd yeah but it was yeah it was just really funny like we went in we didn't see any of these cows and then we turn around and they're all just there behind us just following it was so funny we were saying it just, it made us feel like we were i don't know some kind of cult leader <laughs> we're just being followed uh, just just shepherd yeah but it was nice it was funny uh, I, I never liked when they teach cow to go b behind you. I rather mm. walk you in front of me. Yeah. Because when it jumps on you, you don't see it, and it's gonna break <laughs> your back. <laughs> well, you need to have quick reactions. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> And now we're gonna blur this because I have no patience for this. <laughs> Something like this. Yeah. Not allowed. share. Why I clicked share? <laughs> it just uploads like a random. Thing no, it's, it's it's their fault. They put a blue button that looks like, oh, yes, this is it. <laughs> okay, let's start the actual work on the monkey. Before that, maybe I, I could add 
some snow. Disappeared for a second. And you're back. That's Pavros morphs. They can be hidden yeah, in forest. Yeah. <laughs> you can hide. There you go. Going. You know what? The f the frost the other day killed my succulent plant. I oh, thought no. it can ma manage, it couldn't. Oh no. Is it, have you had much snow yet? Here not much. Where I am from, there already was like 30 centimeters in a day. Oh, cool. Here is really low, so there is not much. And I've had maybe w like one two hour period where it has snowed and yeah but it was the kind of snow that like as soon as it hits the floor it just melts so it's mm -hmm. well, worth it really sad i love snow as long as i don't have to drive i it. mean and shovel well yeah we never really get it we never really get it deep enough where we have to shovel our snow so 2011 or uh 2012, uh, one of those. Hmm. There was so much snow over a meter high, we couldn't go to school for like 10, 15 days. Wow. And all we all we did, we had enough food and they at home. But you go out, you shovel, 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 you chop some wood, get that inside, feed the animals, go back in house. Yeah. Sometimes there is even no electricity because a lot of snow will break the lines. Oh, the lines, yeah. Uh, and it's, I don't know, I like doing that for a few days, mm -hmm. not more than that. <laughs> Once I'm like, I had enough of this, I want barbecue. <laughs> and my mother's like, where are you going to ma make barbecue? It's all snow. And then I shovel to the like wooden shed we have, I make her buy bar barbecue in the shed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dash says it's very good exercise to shovel snow, but the issue is you have to do it in the morning. <laughs> Well, yeah. Bye in the morning. Well, yeah, that's a good point. Why? Yeah. And then the snow plow, plow pushes more dense snow onto your driveway. Yeah, the, yeah. But then why do you have to do it in the morning? I guess if you're going to work, like you have to drive to work. Yeah, yeah. And we we don't really get snow that deep. I think Scotland does get snow quite deep but not very often that happens in england if i'm home it's fine you can snow how much it wants it's cozy it's, it's great but if i need to go to university or school and uh, they didn't clean the road so i need to go by foot you had uh, a bag you have a jacket a hat and then because you go up and up mm -hmm. um you start sweating at the end i uh, i am in the t-shirt and i'm still sweating and i need to carry all of this uh, uphill i'm like no i <laughs> hate <laughs> we our school's clothes like getting a snow day off school in the day is so easy like <laughs> it, like we get snow that is like that like well not even that deep like not even not even ten centimeters deep, and they'll be like, "Okay, that's it. Everything is closed. Go <laughs> go home." I'm jealous. There was there was one day I remember I left the house. It was it was really cold. Um, there was like the the tiniest bit of snow on the ground, and I was stood waiting for my bus to get to school. And I waited and waited, and it was about 10 minutes late, and I saw it coming around the corner, and as soon as I saw it turn the corner, I just went, nope, and just turned around and went home. <laughs> I was like, nah, I'm not doing that today. <laughs> I just... Well, say them back in time. my time. <laughs> back in my day, when I was a girl. I had to walk uphill to school and uphill home from school. 
Yes, and when you see a car stuck, you with other kids will push that car to move. <laughs> that was your job. <laughs> Because sometimes they, they do carry you, strangers by the way, they do carry you with the car and you say thank you, sir. <laughs> Someone did that over here, I think you just call the cops. Yeah, yeah, but we, we would take ride a lot. I mean, it's... You usually would know people or they didn't live too far away. I, we didn't have case where somebody disappeared or something. Yeah, well, that's good. Or <laughs> look it from other side. Nobody wanted us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes there's benefits to that, Melissa. <laughs> like, that's one of those times. <laughs> I'm joking, okay? <laughs> Funny, Ozu just said <laughs> Jaden sounded like Master Roshi from Dragon Ball Z. For what? When I did my like old old person voice. <laughs> I'm not sure I watched it translated. Oh. Did you watch it? What did you watch it in your native language or did you watch it in Yeah, they they did that. Uh, so I have no idea how it sounds in English. Yeah, I only watched it in English. I didn't watch the Japanese version. Yeah, it's hard to watch any uh, anime like that in English. I'm like, my ears, no. <laughs> <laughs> But then when I listen to Japanese, I'm like, oh, now I have to read, but well, let it. <laughs> I don't mind reading. It's just, I don't know. Sometimes I can't be bothered. Sometimes I'd rather just deal with it. It sounds better usually. Mm -hmm. uh, Dash said it's very normal to have a shovel and cat litter in your car to help dig people. Why cat litter? How does that help? I'm so uh, it's I'm like so much. Uh, we use ash or sand, but cat litter is like a sand. Oh, okay. Um, ash is really good and salt is really good. Uh, ash yeah. is abrasive and dry, um, and it starts eating. Uh, Well, we do that around the house. From ash, you can make a soap because mm -hmm. it got that base. Yeah. Uh, is that how you say the base? The thing that cleans the hands. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Uh, so you can do it around the house. Only problem is you're gonna have other tissues. I mean, if you have an ash, if you're making fires. Yeah. You can use it that way. Okay. But yeah, cat litter, I guess it's like a sand, so sand also help with the friction. Yeah, that's what they said, it's more traction. Which, yeah, it does make sense. I mean, we, we just use we just use salt, like grit. Yeah, it's, uh, grit is like small rocks, right? Yeah, like small rocks and salt and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a small, like, military shovel. Small, small one. Yeah. Just in case. Like it's like I would do any work. <laughs> <laughs> I have it, that's enough. <laughs> I was gonna say we don't like we our, ours is, our weather is never really that bad to the point where you need it. Worst we get is ice, which is bad. Wrong, but I sent you I think real when somebody from north or Scotland is driving on there uh, behind, just sitting in jeans and going yeah. down the hill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they can't stop. <laughs> um, it's We funny. did that... Uh, hmm? Oh, you go, you go. On our shoes, uh, it would be start looking glossy and it's downhill, so you just <laughs> run two, three, and then you slide on your shoes down. It's the best. And also, that's... <laughs> That's how I destroyed half of my face once. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's how you then break your nose. We were playing outside the school, I was 7th grade, and I couldn't stop and I would hit other kids. So I tried to stop desperately, there were some holes on the ice. <laughs> uh, we would run from school, um, hallway, mm -hmm. down the stairs and then across <laughs> <laughs> through the door. Uh, And I did fall and I had scratches. I don't know which side of the face was. I did scratches over oh. one side. Ow. 
güey. Oh, I remember a couple years ago when I used to have to drive into work. I uh, I was driving home and I was on this roundabout and as I went to turn off of the roundabout there was some black ice so you know it's like super slippery you can't see it um, it's just like invisible ice essentially and so I hit it with my car and as I was coming off this roundabout I just felt like I totally lost control man that was terrifying it like it was only for like I don't know three seconds but it was the longest three mm -hmm. seconds of my life <laughs> just just like trying to get back in control of my car yeah but you didn't make damage no 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 luckily luckily it was um there wasn't many other cars on the road at the time so i was just it was just me so yeah it was uh i think the the adrenaline kicked in and my, <laughs> the world went into slow motion. The, the neighbors got the new car and they're, uh, it was like icy, like you said. Mm. But they're like, oh, look, we have new ABS. Is that how you say it? Yeah, ABS, yeah. It, co it um, breaks really good and then bam. Yeah, but this guy behind us don't have Doesn't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they got hit. <laughs> Uh, Dash said, I remember there was a news story in Bristol where some dude took out his skis and skied to work. It looked so fun. There was, uh, where my sister went to university, um, this town in the UK called Lincoln, and there's a, a place in Lincoln literally called Steep Hill, and it is a hill that is very steep. Um, and you, like you're walking up it and it's like, it's like that. You know, it's like a solid, solid angle. And there are houses on it and stuff. Um, but in the winter, that just becomes, <laughs> it just becomes a ski slope, basically. People just, people just like sled down it or, or ski down it, or whatever. It's nuts. It's not competition, but you just described my home city. Yeah, well, everything's a competition with you, <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, it's like half of the streets are like that, and I we hate it. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, only one st street, the longer one is for up, all others are for down because there is no way car. Can go. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I was amazed for every town that's not my home city when I started going to other cities mm -hmm. and um, countries. I'm like, oh, they wasted all this uh, flat land for a city. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, we have another uh, question. Melissa, do you always do a background before you color your subject? If so, why? Not always, but it's a good idea to have the, at least the color or the value of the background. So, because colors are relative, if you turn this off, it's going to look different. And then I'm yeah. going to shade this to fit to this white. Okay. And I'm not going to do enough contrast. And then when I turn it back and I add a background, it's not going to fit. I will have to readjust the values and colors all over again. But with this, you will want to have some of the background colors in the character, like putting some pinks here. We're going to do that later. And some blues uh, for the bounce light. That's why it's important. So your character can fit properly with the background red right away. And you know what you're doing. So you're not doing bli blind thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, he's looking good. Like his his face is so cute. It is. It is so cute. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't. Need, I need it. I need it. <laughs> ah, I said, oh, that's probably why my colors look off when I paint. I do my backgrounds last. 
Well, now you know. Now you know. Try adding just the bit colors and of course you will change them. We are doing this one fast. But you will change the background, you will change the character, you will uh, turn this on and see how oh, this is not enough contrast, how I can uh, fix this to be more visible. What I was planning, I would do everything on this dude and then I will push this lower part like in shadow more. Mm -hmm. And this part we're gonna do overlay on uh, like sun or something like that. So we have interesting thing going on later. First I wanna add some... Uh, yeah. Forms if, to this for. If we get time. Okay, then we're gonna sit here until 8 pm. <laughs> gonna sit until 8 pm? No, we ain't. I have a I have a life to live, Melissa. Watch awards. Um. No. No, <laughs> I'm not. I just, I don't know. I might watch it. I. I spoke to Christina this morning and she was like, maybe I'll rewatch the Game Awards and put them on like 10 times speed. I was like, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> you disagree? What, you disagree that I have a life? What the hell? How rude. I'll have you know, I live a very interesting and fulfilling life. I like jump out of planes and uh swim in like volcanoes and stuff yeah it's I'm pretty extreme Why in a wake really? Alan yeah yeah you know yeah in a wake Alan <laughs> I don't know what's in that game so I'm gonna just not, not any of that <laughs> none of that <laughs> oh yeah he's sleeping in the game it, people people are sleeping on Alan Wake unironically people are sleeping on that game yeah, only Alan is awake. Yeah. They did a, you know, they did an art blast on uh, ArtStation for that game. Everyone I sent check you it that. You sent me a couple pieces from it, yeah. Yeah, I took a look at the rest of them. They, they look really nice. Um, okay, let's try start adding a bit warmer tones. See how that looks. <laughs> Jose, it's more that I just love watching the streams with you, Jaden. I'm being selfish. Hey, you can't win me over with flattery. Okay. I tried, it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. I try violence too, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's because I can tell you're being fake, Melissa. I can feel I, it. I fake. Hmm. How dare you? Yeah. Uh, Dynan said, I don't trust you, Jaden. The life that you have, you dedicated to drawing Pikachus. Look, my Pikachu is incredible. Okay. I, I feel like I need to try and show this. It's really good. It looks kind of like a potato. So uh, let me try and let me try and show this on camera. This was this was made when I first started at Moon Colony, okay? Um my art skills have improved dramat uh, dramatically. But look look at how amazing this Pikachu is. It looks like it looks like it looks like a, a bean bag or something. Okay. It's incredible. I think that's the evolution of Pikachu. One we didn't saw before. Yeah. Yeah, it's the next evolution. It's just like <laughs> Jaden bruh. Look. Okay. Okay to be jealous, don't worry. Ghost version, zombie chew. Uh, his toonie says it's looking, uh, it's looking good. It's your work they're talking about, not mine. Um, it's looking great already. Uh, I really love the no, way you no, no, shape that's your fur. Pikachu. I didn't put fur on my Pikachu, so that's how I Pikachu know it's have fur. Not yours. Yeah, but I, I didn't want to put see your Pikachu, Pikachu is naked. Yeah, my Pikachu is furless. Police? <laughs> hello, hello, Nintendo. We got him. <laughs> uh, you should work for Nintendo. Well, you know, this is what I've said. 
Ghost I said it's strange how uh, I almost never see any concept art or any art done for Nintendo games. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing it. Maybe they don't post on our station and stuff, but uh, I never saw it. Um, yeah, they t I think they tend to keep it to put out in like the art books and stuff. Yeah, but where are the artists who works for them? <laughs> hidden, hidden away. <laughs> in the basement? <laughs> yeah, it kept hidden in, in Nintendo, so no one else can have them. <laughs> but it's it's kind of the whole thing with Nintendo, right? Like, you never really hear about any development stories or any development info, really. But I want to know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, Jaden, you're the voice actor of Pikachu too. Um, no, no. <laughs> I was gonna say yes, but then you would want proof, so I'm gonna say no and <laughs> put, put that on a shelf for another day. Um, uh, Dash said, "Guys, I've got to go, but I posted the whip in Discord. I did a monkey go. Oh, incredible! Let me take a look at this." Bye, Dash. Bye, Dash. Have a good one. Oh, it's great. It's so good. It was Dash asking how to the uh, toes on God. Yes. Hoof. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Dash, you should uh, you should carry on render it when you uh, when you're when you're back when you're free. I would uh, think about that, but all I'm thinking is that you said I'm fake. And I cannot get over it. <laughs> I demand apology, but okay. more than that, I demand that you understand that that's incorrect. Okay, I'm sorry, Melissa. Sorry that but I upset th you. That was fake. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it doesn't feel earned. It doesn't feel true. <laughs> well, the, the problem is that a lot of my apologies sound like that. It's hard to tell when I'm actually apologizing or not. Because you never do. Because <laughs> I don't do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dash also said thank you for the stream, Melissa. I was looking forward to it all month. I <laughs> think. Uh, this, this girl felt she never forgets. Now I know. I'll I'll be hearing about I'll be hearing about this for the next forever, the next lifetime. It's not that I don't forget until I find better argument against you. Yeah. Um, hi, Office Wizard. Welcome. Very cute emo and a little <laughs> hot emo. Um, Darian said, did you see the Hatsune Miku Pokemon collab design sheets? No, but now I feel like I need to. Hatsune. Oh, cool. They Did they make Pokemon? They did. It's called Project Voltage. And it's a bunch of songs and music videos with Hatsune Miku. Uh, oh, here we go. Each day, a special artwork was released based on the idea of what if Hatsune Miku was a blank type Pokemon trainer? Covering all 18 types of Pokemon and drawn by six different artists. These are really cool. I'll put I'll drop a link in the chat if people want to check it out. Because it's nice. Oh, you can see what, oh Darren's already done it. Thank you so much. Really nice. I will believe you. Because unlike you, I can trust people. Sorry, Melissa, it was just a joke. Uh, but yeah, these are nice. It's not a nice... Uh... Oh, that's a different... Oh, I'll send you I'll send you the link. DMs, Melissa. You can look at it after the stream. Okay. It'll be my, my gift to you. Oh, really gracious. Yeah. <laughs> 
Fancy. How much to have this little guy as a pet? So cute, Melissa, loving the colors. Two horses and one um, tortoise. Two horses and a tortoise? Okay. I don't know, how much do horses normally go for? Thousand dollars for one that don't have pedigree. Maybe more, no. thousand and a half. That's like minimum two grand plus however much a tortoise is. Let's say 200 pounds for a tortoise. It's you know Instagram ads. I, and I know when, 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 when COVID started, I get weird ads. One of ads was a horse farm, what do you call it? For race horses. He's oh. selling out their horses. They probably don't have enough hay. There was a year without enough hay and also now they don't have enough funding. Yeah. So they're selling some of their horses. And they have a horse. One is called, this is Sauron. He's younger one. Sauron. And I ask Sauron, yeah. I like the Lord of the Rings. I yeah. ask how much it costs just because they want to, they're like 7,000 euros. I'm like, Whoa. thank you. <laughs> because Whoa. that's a ho that's a race course. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. I can buy two cars at that time or yeah, one. Exactly. Car. Yeah, that was my thought. That's, that's crazy. But if you don't need pedigree and you want just healthy animal, you can buy it every Sunday on some bigger uh, fair. Mm. Man, I don't. I, I, horses are a lot of work. I don't think I could. I don't think I could have a horse. Yeah, yeah. That's why I don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even want to take enough care of chickens. <laughs> when it's cold outside. Yeah. Oh, he looks so happy. Oh, yeah, I need to do his mouth. Yeah, I was going to say, because he hasn't got his, like, he hasn't got his, like, bangs going. He just looks really happy. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, actually we need this form. Hmm? Oh, no, nothing. I was going to say, um, might take a second to um, plug, plug our Lunar Academy mm -hmm. next. Lunar Academy mentorship that's coming up. So uh, applications are uh, open now for our next Lunar Academy stylized illustration mentorship. Um, the mentor is the same as last time, our lovely uh, associate art director, Rin. Absolutely incredible that's, work. That's yes. my art director. Yeah, she Melissa's tells me <laughs> what to fix. Yes. So. You know, if someone can critique Melissa, you know that they must be good. Um, <laughs> um, but the uh, the mentorship is seven weeks. It's a one-to-one -one, uh, mentorship. Applications close on Wednesday, the 3rd of January, 2024. There's only three spaces left. So if, you know, if you're interested in doing more stylized work or, uh, in, in, our, in our avenue, then give it a look. Take a look, see see if it's uh, up your alley. Uh, I'll put a link in the chat if you want to have more information. Um, or go to uh, mooncolony.co and follow the, the, the Lunar Academy link on the website. Um, oh, Fuan Art is already registered. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Those are Good look. three spaces on the ship, right? Yes, yeah, three spaces we, on we, the okay. ship. Up to up to the moon colony. Yeah, we take you up to the moon colony on the moon, and uh, eat you up there for seven weeks, and then we bring you back down again. It will feel like you're just sat at home, you know, doing it over a video call, but we promise we we teleport you up. It's pretty impressive. Oh, now he's got his little fangs. It's really cute. Ha <laughs> ha.
I love that reference that you're using right now because his hair looks like he's well, looks like he's um, styled it like Wait. back and into a point. No, that's Vegeta when it's Super Saiyan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's gone Super Saiyan. <laughs> Vegeta is always angry, but he was one of my favorite characters. Uh, the Yesterday it was also trending on Twitter, Vegeta, and I click, I don't know why it was trending, I'm always like, I need to know. Uh, there was a manga and Vegeta is about to fight and his wife Bulma is like, can you win? And he is hmm. super angry, can I win? <laughs> can I win? <laughs> How dare you ask me that? Yeah, I, I didn't watch much of Dragon Ball Z, um, mm. I watched most of the original series. Um, but I liked, uh, oh, I can't remember what Bulma's, what Bulma's boyfriend is, what his name is. Vegeta? Oh. No, no, no. Or are you think the first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yamcha? Yamcha, yeah. I liked Yamcha because he was kind of useless. Yeah. <laughs> he was kind of, he was kind of bad at everything. Bulma be like, Mama, I live, I'm in love with the criminal. Yeah, I'm in love. I'm in love with the with the war criminal. And he's the worst criminal. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I liked him. Yamcho was was nice. He was a he was a cool dude. She, Bulma uh, was searching for the Dragon Balls just so she can find the boyfriend. <laughs> that was her wish, I think. <laughs> but it was the friends we made all Along along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along the way. There was, there's the bit in the original Dragon Ball where the the pig guy, like to stop o the. Olang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To stop the villain using the Dragon Balls, he grabs them all and makes a wish for like the most comfortable pair of underpants in the I ever made. I think he spe specifically asked for girly panties, but yeah, okay. Yeah, I think he did, yeah. Oolong was the dude uh, he could transform. He and the Yamcha's little friend, they went to the mm -hmm. same school of transformation. And Oolong was so bad at transforming, he, he could transform for like two or three minutes at the maximum. <laughs> So he would go to village being real scary, give me your uh, girls, and sh he takes them. But then when you go to Ulong house, he cannot keep transformation and he hates it because <laughs> the girls are screaming at him and they demand stuff, they demand gifts, yeah. and he's like, take them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's called? Puh? Uh, something like that. The, the blue Yamcha's... Uh, Guy, he's yeah, like, you yeah. were the worst student at school. <laughs> yeah, I liked I liked the original Dragon Ball se series. It was good. yeah, yeah, so good. We had that uh, like a cartoon when we were kids. Uh, we had a lot of those, mm -hmm. and it was so nice. And the world building and the characters, not world, building, the arcs. Like there yeah. is an arc when he goes somewhere. There is winter. Uh, it's not Red Army, what's called the Army? I think... Uh, now you've said Red Army, I can't think of anything else other than that. It's it, not Red Army, uh, it's something else. It, like Team Rockets of us. Dragon Ball. Yeah, someone in chat will tell uh, us. It's, it's the Red Ribbon a... Army, Red Ribbon Army, that's what it was. Ribbon. Yeah. Uh, a Winter Fortress, when he go level by level, Defeating mm. enemies until he's on top and he rescues somebody from the village. I was so nervous for him. Will he make <laughs> it? Will he survive? <laughs> Will he freeze to death? <laughs> so nerve-wracking for little me. I liked it when um, when Goku first met uh, Chi Chi, and they're like, obviously they're both kids, and he's. I think he. Doesn't he, he saves her from like some yes fire you know, like a gang or something? No, and, no, oh yeah, first the gang and then her father from the fire. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as he saves her, they're like sat down and they're talking. And she just goes, "I can't wait until we're married one day." And he just doesn't have a clue what she's talking about. And she's just like, "Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's awesome." Yeah, 
He just has no idea what he signed up for. <laughs> and then some years later, he confronts him at the tournament. Yeah. And he cannot hit, uh, hit her because she's a girl, and his granddad tells him to not hit girls. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny. He's like the worst husband. <laughs> He's like the worst husband and the worst dad ever. Well, not that he had got any examples to know. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. <laughs> uh, Circle says hi. I'm loving the hat. <laughs> loving the hat, Melissa. I kind of forgot that you were even wearing the hat. Thank <laughs> you. I did not. I'm sweating. <laughs> if you take it off, it'll make me look better. I don't have a hat yet. You will have better haircut now. And I watched uh, this morning. I'm like. This is gonna look the hair is gonna look fresh and then I remembered oh I need to put the hat it's gonna look so bad after that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah I need to get someone someone mentioned this yesterday about getting some baubles to put in my beard. I don't I don't think it would work though. My beard's not like I don't think my beard's like thick enough to hold anything in. I saw they have got hooks, so you can, you, you have a skin. Skin, just hook it into my <laughs> skin. Yeah. Or nice. you can put them on your um, glasses. Yeah, yeah. I also got told to do that today as well. And you did not do anything of that. I put, I put, I put baubles like around my, around my neck and then I, Wrapped myself in tinsel. I don't know what else. Like, that's already a pretty good commitment. My poor Christmas tree was, like, half naked. Okay, I need to stop working on the face just to add him some shine in the eye. Yeah, we've got about half an hour. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not even close. <laughs> Okay. Any questions? Anybody uh, interested to see the Jaden tree? To <laughs> see my Christmas tree. My Christmas tree? I, I, I can't show my Christmas tree right now. I could put I could put a picture of my Christmas tree in the Discord if I haven't already. I think I'm. No, I haven't. You, I I will also make one. You all were talk so much about trees mm -hmm. that I'm like, oh yeah, I have um, like it got dense leaves. Uh, it's not pine tree. It's not fear. Maybe it's something like fear. Uh, I have it in a big pot. Yeah. It will be really hard to move. I will put it in front of the door and I bought some cheap decorations that are tiny decorations so it will yeah. fit with the size. So I'll do that maybe yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like I like putting up a Christmas tree. Nice. It's the start of what starts me feeling festive. That and then watching the Muppets Christmas Carol, which I still haven't done this year. Maybe I'll do it tonight. I know you like them, but I never saw a peel of Muppets. <laughs> no, the Muppets are so good. <laughs> I'm not saying that they're bad. I, I didn't see a peel. They're just silly, goofy dudes. Um, oh, Lisa Barron says, Hi, I couldn't type earlier, but I heard you talking about the Lunar Academy. Um, I wanted to say I wholeheartedly recommend the mentorship. I did the previous one in September and it was just so nice. I've learned so much. If one of you is still hesitating to apply, this is your sign to just do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's the that's the kind of feedback that we like to see, you know, straight from the horse's mouth. Aren't it, sounds, insult. it sounds like an insult, but it's not. <laughs> I promise it's not. I know. Um... But yeah, no, the feedback we got from the first wave was just incredible. So thank you so much, um, those of you who, who took part in the first wave of mentorships. And if you didn't, now is your chance. But thank you, Lisa. Um, 
Circle says, Amen, Jaden. <laughs> I love the Muppets Christmas Carol. It's incredible. The best it's the best Christmas movie, and I will die on that hill. Christmas Carol, like uh, you greedy, uh, you being evil, give money to your workers, that one? Yeah, yeah, that one. But it's told with the Muppets, and it's funny. Oh. Oh, we have really creepy and um, depressing ones. <laughs> uh, like you would have Disney <laughs> movies, but we didn't have those at the beginning. We got like a um, sales version of those oh, yeah. cartoons. Budget, budget Disney. I don't know where they find those. Uh, it was horrible. Uh, it's just depressing and awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you think everyone is dying? It's not happy at all. <laughs> oh, it's the spirit of Christmas. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, like, the thing is, Muppets Christmas Carol takes a takes a story that is, as you say, is just. You're greedy. You you are a bad person. You need to give money to like the poor and to your workers and blah 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 blah. But mm -hmm. it it tells it in a way that's funny and really wholesome. Like I don't know, it hits you in the it hits you in the feels. Okay, from the Muppets, I know Kermit, mm -hmm. and I I know Piggy, mm -hmm. and I know there is reddish one. That's all. One on oh, no, that's Elmo. Is that Muppet? <laughs> Elmo is not a Muppet. But, uh, but it looks like it is. Muppets adjacent. <laughs> okay. And that's all I know from Muppets. There's there's Animal. You'd probably know Animal if you saw him. He's the one that's on drums and just constantly is just like bah, 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 just forever like going nuts. Oh, is it Cookie Monster Muppet? Cookie Monster is once again it's Sesame Street. You know Sesame Street, which is fine because it's like they're made by the same. Uh, the puppets are made by um, Jim Henson, but yeah, different, different uh, show and movies. I don't think we had uh, all of those. Maybe sometimes. Where I am? Yeah, I was gonna say, where's your? Where have you gone? Back. I I am banished to the shadow realm. Yeah, once again, the Smurf magic. Please, Yugi, save me. Here we go. Save your grandpa. Yugi, oh, oh. Muppets Treasure Island is good too. Absolutely. Muppets Treasure Island is amazing. Christmas Eve for me is playing games without thing to worry about because the school is not there. While you it's snowing outside. School. I still go to school, yes. <laughs> I'm a teenager, you didn't know about it. I'm 30 years old teenager. <laughs> school for me is not having any... No, Christmas for me is not having any school. It's like, well, you must have had a good... Good last, like, 10 years. Listen, I'm trying to explain you something. Uh, I sent to Christina, every moment you're not working something. Oh, I should be drawing. Every time you catch yourself doing something, it's not, oh, I should be drawing. So, I I cannot have a day off properly without care in the world anymore. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, you need, you need Christmas. You need Christmas. Yeah, but uh, our, my Christmas is a different day. I, I don't feel festive and it's how to explain you. And I don't have 10 days there. Yeah. We have 20 more minutes. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can do hmm, hard light maybe. And then do it with blue purplish. Darker thingy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. And then bottom part, do it with more orangey part. Or too much. It goes to show how my, my knowledge of colors is not fantastic because I never really think of doing purple shadows. My brain instantly goes to blue. <laughs> um, it can fit nicely in this one. Yeah. I just need to delete uh, extra. 
We're gonna need it everywhere. No. So cute. I wanna hug him. Venomous. <laughs> Venomous. Oh hi Venomous. For some reason that reminds me of that reminds me of the Vine from long ago. Back when Vine was a thing. It was like Hi, my name is Jordan with a B, and I've been afraid of insects my whole life. And they're like, wait, wait, where's the B? And he's like, there's a B? <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> where's Ignacio? He had a um, fearful battle the other day with the B. Wait, what? The B entered his room, <laughs> and he spent like 10 minutes. And then he had a nightmare about it. <laughs> I remember when I was at university, my uh, the first room that I that I lived in was right above this tree, and this tree had a wasp's nest in it. So, mm -hmm. like, it was like the hottest day, like the hottest few days of the year, and I would open my window and get like four wasps come into my into my room, and I would just be like, okay, well. I, I, I guess I'm I guess I'm leaving now. Bye. <laughs> Just leave my room and come back in a couple hours and <laughs> see if they've gone. No, you need to remove the nest. It wasn't my tree. It wasn't in my it wasn't in my property. I couldn't do anything about it. Oh that's your very rock. <laughs> no, uh, I, I swell a lot when I was for the bee. Um I I don't choke or anything, but if it Bites me for an arm or a leg. Mm. It, it's like this. Wow. I don't. I've only ever been stung once, right? Like when I was a kid, mm. and I don't remember having any kind of bad reaction to it. But I'm not gonna try it. <laughs> uh, I don't. Uh, uh, now the fingers and the toes are here. I feel it. Uh, we collect uh, fruit and sweet fruit. Yeah. attracts a wasp and a bees yeah. and you, sometimes you don't see them and you catch for the fruit and you also catch them in your head oh, and yeah. by the moment you feel them it's too late they already felt uh in danger so they bite mm. you at the the last summer i was talking with my family we we're sitting at the table outside and something is on my leg i think oh this is a fly i will kick it off with my other leg oh no it was it wasn't a fly. <laughs> And it hurts so, so bad. <laughs> there's, there's someone in my family who's really afraid of, um, who's really afraid of like bees and wasps. Like, if there's, mm -hmm. if there's one, even in their like general vicinity, they will run. They're just, they're gone. So okay, <laughs> I'm not too bad. I don't like them if they're like I don't mind them if they're just like you know passing by me or in my area. It's when they are like actively in my face. Mm. That's when I hate it. Um, Darian says I was itchy. Uh, I was itching my face once. Oh, bleh, let me start again. I was itchy in my face once, so I itched it with my shoulder. Apparently, it was a bee, and I pushed it to sting my face. Ow! Oh, that's nasty. Exactly. Bees, bees are like really sad to like accidentally sting because bees are just chill. They're like nice chill dudes. But, like... You didn't saw uh, bees overtaking other bees. Well, yeah, but you know, they're chill to people most of the time. Uh, what do you call wasps? Small ones or big ones? A uh, hornets are big oh, ones. Oh, right? the, the hornets are the big ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had both on our house. And hornets really hard to get rid of. You need to burn them like with proper yeah. torch and the outfit. You need to post them traps with the glue for rats. Yeah. What else? You need to poison them. Mm -hmm. Hornets aren't super common over here, but mm -hmm. like 
I, I've seen a couple in my lifetime and they were terrifying and I never want to see them again. <laughs> They're just horrible. I don't um, think any still bite me. Hopefully. No, fingers crossed. Generally they won't like generally they won't sting you if they have no reason to, because it's like, well, there's 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 no point. But just uh if you are close to their nest and you show aggression, they will start uh, yeah. biting you. Yeah. But it's like wasps and hornets especially. It's more the the way they look. They just look evil. And the the sound of their wings like freaks me out. Like the buzzing sound. Yeah. Nasty. Um, Lisa says, I've read that you, uh, that you get the allergies only on the second time you get stung. If you've been stung once and you're fine, it doesn't mean you'll be fine the next time. Oh, well, that's, yeah. that's good. That's good to know. You can start talking anytime with them. Yeah, maybe maybe next time I'll die. <laughs> oh, no. I went, uh, when I was camping with uh, some friends, one of my friends is totally fearless, like just doesn't, like, isn't scared of anything. And this, mm -hmm. we were, there were wasps coming around because we had just had a few beers and stuff. And a wasp landed on his lip. And he sucked the wasp into his mouth, then blew it back out onto the table and then just punched it into the table. And we were like, it's just all of us just sat there, just like no words, no, like nothing to say other than. Yep. What the but hell? You know what happens if if, if you, if you kill him it in the throat? Oh well, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's, yeah. Then he'll probably die. But like, also, if you if you kill a wasp, it gives off, um, like, it gives off like pheromones or whatever to to signal more wasps. So it's like, mm -hmm. it's like, come on, man, why would you do that? But yeah, it's absolutely nuts. Um, I've never I've never seen anything like it. Casually five hit combos would be yeah yeah. It was all just so relaxed as well. It was just it was such a casual maneuver to just breathe in, breathe in wasp, breathe out wasp, punch in table. A snack or not a snack? Yeah. Honestly, for like the for like the half second that he had it in his mouth, I thought he was gonna bite down on it. The crunchiness of the bug sounds awful. Oh, and then no. it's soft inside it. <laughs> Never let them know your next move. Yeah, exactly. It's like those, have you seen those videos where it's like totally, it's like a totally unpredictable video. It's like a guy goes to pick up his backpack and as he goes to put it on, he doesn't actually put it on, he just like throws it behind him and like it, it just totally looks weird. Or he goes to put his shoe on and like, instead, like, I don't know, takes his socks off or something. It's really, it's really weird. They're, they're like, really uh, entrancing. You watch them and you're like, I, what is going on? I don't feel I have done too much with this. I got the feeling when you move it out, but it's not rendered enough to be called done or anything. <laughs> well... 10 minutes, but I think, you know, for two hours, it's really good. You're too hard on yourself. What else I can do now? I would want to do fast something like this, see? but not blue, too blue. Nice. Oh, this one, this one. Uh, as we're into our sort of last ten minutes, if anyone has any any final questions or anything, um, then fire away. 
Uh, which channel is the correct one to draw uh, to post my draw along? Uh, you can put it in a uh, study room if you like. That's where most people put theirs. That'll be fine. See, we have now a better gradient. The gradient looks nice. Oh, the fur is delicate. You need to group it first. Mm -hmm. And then go smaller and smaller. And then you define it somewhere too much. Then you need to go back and take softer brush. And remove those hard edges where you don't need them. Mm. And do it all over again. Take some time to get it right and soft. Yeah. Yeah, doing fur is a, is a tough one. But yeah, if anyone has been following along, uh, like Zarian, um, then feel free to, to share your work with us. We'd love to see it. So if you're part of our Discord community, then you can put it in our study room. It's always nice to it's always nice to see people's uh, people's interpretations of, of what we draw, especially if we use the same references. It's cool to see what ideas you come up with. Uh, and if you're not part of our Discord community already, then I will put a link in chat where you can join us. Nice and now we we use the the voice chat a lot as well. With people in there pretty much every day. So come in and say hello. Don't bite. There is people and there's me too also. Sometimes Jaden is not muted too. Yeah. Yeah, we have some of the some of the Moon Colony artists and sometimes Melissa and Leone mostly. So yeah. I added a bit more details. Uh like uh, this bounce light from sky and mountains. <laughs> I almost <laughs> tried to point you with my arm <laughs> like this part here. The bow is light and a bit more uh, reddish because we are now on the hit by the sun, so mm -hmm. we can afford these uh, bright reds. And some more ba uh, bounce light again from the back. You can freely pick this, not full opacity, but when you have a character, that's why it's important to have a background set alongside with the character and not do it separately. Sorry, I cut it off. Uh, what else? What's our next stream? Uh, our next stream is uh, next Wednesday, uh, same time mm -hmm. start as today. So that's uh, 3 p.m. GMT, and it is a art critiques session. Yeah, with, uh, we didn't have those. Yeah, it's been this a week. Yeah, it feels like it's been a while since we did a, an art critique. But it, hasn't really it's only been a few weeks but um yeah next wednesday we have an art critique session with um one of our our new lovely new art directors arthur so along to that it'll be it'll be interesting arthur's a lovely guy and then also have a we also have a material study session. The lovely Leone. Yes, next Thursday. No new Alex. <laughs> no, no new Alex. We, we're trying to we're trying to get a monopoly on all of the Alex's in the art industry, but it's not going very well. You know, we're we're running out because we we've got we've got most of them. We'll try and get uh we'll, we'll try and get Alex Heath back for some stuff. But if you have, uh, they're hoarding all the Alexes. Yes, we are hoarding all of the Alexes. But I haven't, uh, I don't believe I mentioned it this stream, but for those of you who might not know, 
uh, we have opened up a community feedback form. Um, so it's sort of, it's your opportunity to have a say in the kind of content that we'll be producing going forwards. You know, let us know what you like and what you don't like so much um, on both our Twitch streams and our Discord server. If you, uh, all, well, it'll only take a few minutes, and a lot of the questions are optional. So if some of the questions don't apply to you or you don't really have an answer for them, then feel free to to skip some of them. But if you complete the survey and you get to the bottom. There's a little section for you to put in your Discord name. And if you choose to do that, then you can be put in for a chance to win two months of Discord Nitro. And But it's entirely optional. You don't have to. It can be totally anonymous if you'd prefer to do that. But if you'd like to give us some feedback, then I've put a link in the chat for you. Um, any Anything would be would be fantastic. Let us know what you're going forwards. We do this to, to help you guys and to give you entertainment. So let us know. I think that's the last thing I have have to plug for today. So uh, no. you're free. Uh, we've got a couple more minutes left of the stream. So once again, any any more questions, fire away. Um, I'll take a look at study room at what Darian's post is. Oh, that's very cute. It's is like everyone a... doing the monkey? Zarian, it, it isn't doing the monkey. Zarian did like a... Um, I don't really know how to describe it. It's got like a bird. It's like a bird beak. Um, mm -hmm. but it's all fluffy. It's like a fluffy bird penguin kind of thing. Oh, okay. I'll take a look later of all the posts. Yeah, it's very cute. That's a very cute monkey, though. Look at him. Just vibing. Let's see. Control, control C, control V. We started uh, with the sketch, with background. This is really washed out, but adding stuff where it is. Yeah, now it would start need polishing, mm -hmm. details, small hairs at the end. Uh, mm -hmm. backing a bit to the white places. Yeah, for two hours though. Did good job. The horse are still a bit, uh, how you say, sh should on. Uh... Mm -hmm. They're not belong here, the horse. Oh, they look like they've been shot. Shoe feet on? on? Sh how you say it? Shoe horn. Shoe horn. Yeah. yeah. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he just evolved. He just evolved weird. That's all. Uh, so the next step would be taking this line art that I put on multiply and lowered it for a half, clipping it, and then painting over it. So we can do a nice fur without any of these uh, lines mm. showing on weird places and uh, then the face could uh, fit a bit better yeah. with the fur because there is no, shouldn't be clear line for this fur. Mm -hmm. yeah, More like that. Yeah. Fuzzy. And you can mix it nicely, yeah. That's that's our time, so I'll let you sort of finish up whenever you like, really. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. So, Jaden, <laughs> you can have your Friday. <laughs> All of us will sit alone at home. You can go out. <laughs> well, I, I, I was going to say, I'm not rushing you. Like, I was going to say, if you want to take an extra however long, we can. But... No, no, I would take an hour upon hours of polishing this. And then yeah. only after then I would be satisfied with the, how it looks. <laughs> if it's just like a thumbnail, it's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> like this. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Well, um, thanks thanks again, Melissa, for uh, for coming along and doing this. I feel like it's been a while since we've had you on the stream, so it's, it's nice yeah, to yeah. be back. Um, and thank you, everyone, in chat as well. It's been nice to, to see you and, and chat with you today, as always. 
Um, it was cool to see some people on there, like, was it 15, 15 stream streaks or, or however many it was? It was a lot. Yeah, 15 stream streaks. That's Skullpel and Christina. Um, Dash got a 10 stream streak. Amazing. Thank you, guys. Um, keep, keep them coming. Um, but join us again next Wednesday, as I said, for the art critique session with Arthur. Uh, I'll open submissions for that on Monday. So if you have a an illustration that you're working on, um, or maybe wait, a what's the deadline for our competition? Do you didn't uh, mention that? I'll mention it after this. Um, <laughs> uh, if you have an illustration or a um, or a character art that you're working on, you want a bit of advice on it, then submit it to our art critique on Monday. As Melissa rightly said, um, we also have our art competition, Tavern Trouble. Uh, the deadline for that is the 18th of December. So that's in a couple more weeks. There's still a chance for you to, to make something really cool and submit it. Um, but if you want more details, it's all on the Discord uh, in the competition channel. But I think... That's, I think that's me done. I think that's everything I needed to say. Um, thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you next week. Have a lovely weekend. Um, and uh, yeah, goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.